I'm book smart, street smart, but still with all that dumb shit. Right now, the link with wrong. With. Oh my god. I got it to Georgetown. Holy shit. So, hey guys, I just washed my face, but I'm coming to you because uh, I got some good news. So, as you can tell from the beginning of the video or the title, I got into freaking Georgetown. Like, excuse me in a bathrobe. I was going to try and film this all dressed up and nice with makeup on. <sighs> Did my makeup. It looked horrible. So I just had to go scrub my face. But I got into Georgetown's graduate school. I am beyond blessed. Like, that is... <laughs> I applied to Georgetown as my reach school. Did not expect in in like my life that I'd actually be saying like yeah I'm going to Georgetown, um, but I got in. I really did not plan this far ahead, um, but yeah I got in and now I'm like, oh my god. So as you guys know, no you probably don't know. I will now be the second person in my family to attend graduate school. So there's a lot in this process I don't know. My sister would be the first person to attend graduate school and her path was very different. Um, she got a fellowship coming out of undergrad and she went straight into graduate school. She knew what school, what program, it was all pretty much set up for her. Whereas for me, uh, I took a gap year and worked. I'm still working. And I don't have a fellowship, so now I have to figure out how how do you pay for graduate school. Like, how does one pay this money? And Georgetown is a big name that comes with a big price tag. So this is going to be the beginning of a series of my journey to graduate school. I'm having to figure it out. I'm trying not to take out too much loans because as you know, I just finished paying my undergraduate loans off and I was really proud of that. And I really do believe that God has a plan for me to not have to, you know, go for broke continuing my education. So that's what I believe. That's what I have faith in. I don't know how, as of right now, I'm <laughs> looking for fellowships for next year because fun fact, when you apply for graduate school, you're supposed to apply for fellowships at the same time. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I applied to graduate school and I'm like, whew, that's done. So now I'm definitely gonna have to take out some, if not all the loans for my first year, but I'm coming the second year. Oh, there's going to be a fellowship and I'm going to apply for private scholarships. I'm going to have to work. Um, I'm already looking for jobs. <laughs> I have to move to Washington, D.C. Like my sister was just in D.C. and she's about to head back to Haiti. And then there's me about to try and move. Well, I'm more likely going to move to Maryland because I know someone in Maryland or who will be in Maryland going to school in Maryland. So we'll try to room together because... Just look up the apartment prices in D.C. and you'll know. You'll know why I'm not living in D.C. But I am going to Georgetown. God will it. I, I just know that God has something planned for me. I'm not sure what it is because everything is just lining up in such a way where it's like, I... You guys know, you guys know, and God is just working. And so as doors close, doors open and this door opened. And I really mean it. To, I really believe it's meant to be. So I will be attending Georgetown for a master's in epidemiology. And I'm going in there on a mission, like network, get to know who I need to know. Coming up with a study plan for my MCAT because your girl is going to medical school after this. I'm praying for it, I'm claiming it, I believe it. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna definitely be filming my process. Um, 
I literally just, I know nothing about graduate school. I had to, this gap year was needed because I didn't even know about the application process. I applied to schools in February, not knowing like, you apply in October. I applied in February. I took my GRE in February. <laughs> Like, it's just, it's just miraculous that this is happening for me. And yeah, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm super stressed. Like, I just figured out how to see my total financial aid package. It's loans. <laughs> my jaw dropped. I nearly passed out. Um, It's a hefty price tag. But I just know something's, something's going to happen. I'm going to start applying for small scholarships, even though scholarships for graduate school, there aren't too many. I'm going to do what it takes, you know. I got to make this happen. So y'all pray for me. Get excited. We are getting more college, college graduate school vlogs. And we're definitely going to talk about the transition from an HBCU to a PWI. I know a lot of people have questions about that. I have questions about that, and hopefully I will get some answers for you guys. But thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this gap. I thought I would have been so much more active on YouTube and everything, taking a year off. But <laughs> I've been working. Like, it's 3.30 a.m., and I got off of work this morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> My body's shot, like... I was doing makeup at 1 a.m. But thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. Get ready for more videos, more content. It's coming. Like, it's coming. I'm moving to D.C. I'm, I'm like, going to pay rent. Like, I... <laughs> I'm, like, in shock. I'm excited. But I'm so scared. So... Anybody, if you want to sponsor me, feel free, inbox, DM, anything, <laughs> or else I'm going to start selling feet pictures. But on that note, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around and supporting um, everybody who commented on my post-grad depression videos. I really want to update on what you guys are doing because that's really helped me a lot getting through this like seeing that other people are going through it as well i also started talking to a therapist as great as she is i'm probably gonna have to stop talking to her because i'm not gonna be able to afford her for graduate school but that can be discussed more in another video if you guys want once again thanks for watching thank you for supporting comment down below what's going on with you guys in your lives if you're going to graduate school if you're still an undergrad if you're about to graduate if you're about to start a job whatever the case may be bye Thank you.